Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about our CRM application we are going to create for a chemical equipment and processing company. Now, why I'm using this application? The reason I'm using this application is to give you an idea about the real-time programming. We are not just going to work on the standard objects and learn about the Apex programming using those standard objects we will also we are going to go ahead and create some custom objects for our chemical equipment and processing company and and now we will learn about apex using this application so we will work on this application in this particular course now what this particular application consists of this chemical processing crm application consists of two custom objects one is called as the customer and the second one is the invoice so one particular customer can have many invoice related to him so there is a master detail relationship of, we are going to create between these two objects now what are the fields of the customer object so in the next tutorial we are going to go ahead and create these two custom objects one is the customer and the second one is the invoice and these are the fields of the customer object that we are going to add so we are going to have a field called active which will tell us that is this a customer a active customer or an inactive customer we are going to add a field which is a customer description which will give you information about the customer so that is going to be a text field then we are going to create a another field called customer status which will tell you about the status of the customer is it active inactive pending paid etc so that's going to be a pick list and we will take a look at the pick list values then we are going to create another field for the customer object called as the external id and uh, that is going to be a text field and it is also going to be an external id field so i'm not going to show you what is a custom object and how to add fields because i'm assuming you are very much familiar with the salesforce out of the box features this course is only going to focus on the salesforce development in order to give you a feel of real time environment i'm going to use this application and going to explore apex using this application so that's why i'm going to go ahead and create this application first and then we will learn about the different aspects of apex programming using this application so the next object that we are going to work on is the invoice object and as i've told you there is a master detail relationship exist between a customer and the invoice object one particular customer can have many invoices related to him because he can buy different different products etc from from that company so the fields for the invoice object we are going to add four fields to the invoice object one will be the amount paid the second is the customer this is going to be the relationship field the third field we are going to create is the description about the invoice and the fourth field we are going to go ahead and create is the status field which will tell you about the status of the invoice means if somebody has paid it if somebody has not paid it is it pending unpaid or paid so now we are going to go ahead and create all these fields and and these two objects in our next tutorial so i will see you in the next tutorial thank you so much